my name is Tom Clyke, and I'm the National Fleet Account Manager for Horton. I'm here today with Dale Johnson, our Field Service Manager, and we're going to be showing you how to replace the OE fan drive on a Mac Anthem with the Horton LCX230 Variable Speed Fan Drive. The LCX230 Variable Speed Fan Drive is a drop-in replacement for the OEM fan drive for Mac and Volvo. Today we'll be working on a Mac Anthem, and the first step is to drain the radiator about halfway down, which we've done already. And the next step is going to be removing the search tank, which Dale's getting ready to do. Now that Dale has removed the search tank, we're going to move to the other side of the truck for the next steps. Okay, on this side of the truck, we're going to remove the bolt for the engine mounted ring shroud, the clamp for the CAC, and also the bolt for the radiator support before moving to the other side. Okay, now that we're back on the driver's side of the truck, we're going to be removing the upper radiator hose. We're going to take off the bracket for the engine mounted ring shroud. We're going to remove the CAC hose. We're going to disconnect the bracket for the AC lines from the radiator support. And then we're going to take out that bolt uh, holding the radiator to the, uh, the frame. And what that's going to allow us to do later is move the radiator forward so that we can get the fan and shroud out. Okay, the next step, which is the hardest part, is removing the bolts from the engine mounted ring shroud on the bottom. There's two of those. To access that, you gotta remove that uh, plastic shield underneath the bumper so you can gain access to slide underneath to get those off. Once we get those off, we're gonna come back up top and we're gonna remove the fan blade from the fan drive and just set the fan blade into the shroud. Okay, we disconnected the fan drive wires and we took off the anti-rotation bracket to get that out of there, we actually had to loosen the lower bolts on the hub so that we could tip it forward a little bit to get the anti rotation bracket out. Now we're ready to remove the fan drive, the fan, and the shroud out of the truck. Okay, now we're ready to mount the, the original fan blade that came out of the truck onto the new Horton LCX230 variable speed fan drive. This is where the main difference is. So on the original uh, fan drive, the fan mounted to the front of that. On the Horton, it's actually gonna mount to the back side but the fan will be in the exact same spot in the truck once we install it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. The main thing is you wanna set the fan drive down. Push the fan, make sure this is the front of the fan drive facing the radiator. We're gonna snake the wire, control wire through the fan, around and rotate the fan until the bolts line up, bolt holes. Horton provides new hardware, but these are self-tapping bolts. So as you're threading them in, they're cutting the threads. Uh, be aware of that. So then you're going to put all the bolts in, torque them down, and then we'll be ready to put it on. Okay, once we have all our bolts torqued down, and I did that in a star pattern like you would uh, like a wheel, uh, we find it easiest to use a strap to wrap it around the bracket so that we could lift it and drop it in in place in the truck. While we were installing the uh, fan and the fan drive together, um, we had to make sure that the, the engine mounted shroud, the groove was pointed down so that it fits into the bracket below so it drops low enough to get the, the, uh, the fan drive to slide back on the studs and nuts back on. So we got that done, we got the nuts tightened up, and then we ran, um, we grabbed our anti-rotation bracket. There's actually two in the, in the box. So this is the longer one. We actually, the shorter one worked better on here. We bolted that back on to the top bolt of the hub, and then we uh, ran the wires um, and connected that up. Now we're ready to put the truck back together. And once you do that, you wanna run the truck up about 1500 RPM and for about three to seven minutes, and then the, the fan drive will disengage. Then you're ready to roll. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.